Hi, James Malinas, James the Wine Guy, here to share and celebrate this wine with you today. This is Brandborg White Pinot Noir called Fleur de Lis, 2011 vintage, and this is a 13% alcohol content wine from the Umqua Valley in Oregon. Back panel for your review here. I think uh, White Pinot Noir, something that's just fantastically beautiful and something you're going to see much more of. I think that's because it's a really great complement to uh, food. So you can have a red Pinot Noir and a white Pinot Noir. You're, you're going to encompass a, a great uh, number of foods that you couldn't uh, cover just on one wine itself. So on the red side, you could cover a, a certain percentage. When you go to the wine, the white uh, Pinot Noir side, you can do a whole variety of seafood items that you probably wouldn't want to do with a red Pinot Noir. But for me, I think it's a really great point of difference. It's also a great way of getting people who are really that bona fide white-only wine drinker getting them to get used to the characteristics of this wine to get on to the next section, which is the red. It doesn't mean it's a progression, it just means it's a great bridge wine, and it's a great wine on its own, not just a bridge wine, uh, something to just uh, spend some time on and go on onward, but I think it's a really great uh, wine to add to your repertoire, and I think that's a really beautiful way of just what wine is all about, to share uh, with friends, family, to do so year-round, not just to segment white wine to only a warm season of the year. Now, beautiful notes on this wine. I did a compare and contrast with the same producer's red Pinot Noir, just scented it. And of course, I poured it, so I know exactly which one is which, but you know, you close your eyes for a bit, and you're just scenting through, you're smelling the wines and seeing what they're like. You do get that definitive note that this is a Pinot Noir wine. Uh, not that you shouldn't, uh, but you, you look at it and you say, oh, this can't be exactly like that. Well, no, it isn't. The, the skins, uh, skin contact goes a long way and gives some uh, flavor characteristics that are different than this one, which has, um, I don't know if it has uh, no skin contact or very few hours with it. I, I'm guessing it has just a few hours of skin contact that's removed and then the wine just uh, continues onward to develop. Now on this, I'm getting beautiful scent notes of yellow and orange citrus, pink citrus as well, a little bit of uh, organic marshmallow. I think it's a great descriptor. It doesn't mean it's sweet. It just means it's that really unique characteristic um, note. Also, white floral notes on this as well. So here we go. I'll take a taste and tell you what this wine is like. Beautiful characteristics of orange and yellow citrus zest. Golden raspberry, organic marshmallow, tea biscuit, bay leaf, and violets. Yeah, I think that's a really great way of calling out this wine. I'm using a red wine descriptor to describe this wine because it is a, you know, no doubt, uh, in its DNA, it is a red wine. It is a Pinot Noir. Um, it is a white wine. Well, you think of red wines in general, and you think only about four have a colored pigment. All of them are white. They'd all become white wines uh, if there are no skin contact or very little skin contact. I give this one 9.2 out of a 10.0 scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesawinegar.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, and Pinterest. Salud.